Hi, today I want to show you how to shut down the Overt management. Now I'm using Overt 4.3, I think version 4.2 has it already, uh, but 4.3 has it uh, for sure. So if you go to the menus, on any menus, you won't find any um, shutdown buttons. I mean, you can take a host, for example, and you can go to the management and you can uh, basically uh, stop it, restart it, but uh, in order to really shut it down, for example, this specific host, for example, I have to put it into maintenance mode and then uh, go to host console or SSH to the machine and then perform power off. When you uh, take uh, a machine and you move it into maintenance mode, it will migrate uh, all the virtual machines that are located on this node and it will move it, migrate it to other hosts as long as they are with the same processor and they are in the same cluster. Uh, it's not like VMware that you can just click uh, shut down and you're done with it. This video is going to show you how to shut down the entire overt uh, virtualization solution. Let's say, for example, that you want to move the machines, take them out, whatever. So, uh, since it doesn't have any GUI elements yet, we'll have to do it through a command line. Uh, so in the terminal, uh, the first thing that you want to check in order to make sure that uh, you have this Ansible playbook uh, to make it work, you run this command rpm minus qa pipe grep shut. And as you can see, there is a weird Ansible shutdown environment. That's great. Now, if we'll take this package and we'll see the contents of it, you'll see that the roles are here, uh, the playbook, tasks, everything is here in the user share or Ansible roles over each shutdown environment. And there's also a document uh, with an examples directory. We'll need this directory. And that's the directory that I'm in right now. Now, all you have to do is pretty simple. There is a file called password. And here you put your password for the overt management, the admin username. Uh, so the password is for the admin username, um, you'll have to put it here. Uh, by default, uh, it shows in this file 123456. I just change it for this video, for example. So you have to change this, uh, this password. And next, you'll have to decide if you want to encrypt this uh, file because anyone else that will gain access to your management uh, virtual machine and can see this password, can do whatever he wants. So uh, it's up to you to decide if you want to encrypt it or not. If you do, that's the command that you have to run in order to encrypt it. And then in order to run uh, the script, you'll need to use this parameter, ask vault pass. Now, one thing I already have my password and let's just copy it to here I won't show you and the next thing that we'll need to do if you want to shut down everything is run the command ansible playback yeah okay and then shut down environment now if you added uh, if you encrypted the password as shown in the file above that, that I've shown you a few seconds ago, uh, you have to add the parameter here. Now, once I'll run it, 
there is no way to go back. Now you can run this script only from the uh, overt management virtual, uh, the hosted engine virtual machine. You cannot run it from outside. So if, for example, you're writing a shutdown uh, script for the UPS, you'll need to SSH to the management machine and then you'll have uh, to run this command. You can take this Ansible playbook and modify it if you want, for example, to run it from your uh, main, uh, for example, from a Raspberry Pi that uh, monitors your uh, UPS, you can run it from there, but you'll need to modify this uh, playbook. Once we have this, we basically, this thing is probably dead. It will take about, let's say, five to ten minutes until all your machines are powered off. Now, the machine that is running the hosted engine virtual machine, uh, this one will take a bit time because uh, all the lease man management of storage and everything else takes time until it disconnects and uh, shuts down gracefully. Now. After you uh, took the machines down, and if you want to power them on, you have to do something else. Let me show you. Okay, right now I'm powering on my main machine, the one that will run the hosted engine. And it boots right now. And uh, once it's finished, booting you won't be able still to use the hosted engine and that's why i'm recording this part so let it uh, bring up the networking and everything okay now let's log into the machine now in order to see if the hosted engine is running you can run the command hosted engine dash dash vm status and you'll see this message. Now, this message is a bit misleading because what you see here is that it's complaining about overt HA agent. But if we look and run status overt HA agent, everything is working. And the thing is that you'll simply need to wait about four minutes or so until the hosted engine is back up I mean in terms of uh, the connection to the ho the physical host and until then uh, you'll see this message so the simplest thing to do if you want to check it is just run the command watch and I'll give it a few minutes and we'll resume the recording after that. After four minutes, uh, you'll probably see something like this message. The cluster is in global maintenance mode. And in order to remove it from the maintenance mode, we'll go out with control C from the watch command and we'll run the command hosted engine minus minus maintenance minus minus mode equal none oh, sorry yeah sorry set maintenance and we can go back to watch and you'll see no uh, ma uh, no maintenance mode as you can see it's false and the machine is down but within a few more seconds it will start to boot the hosted engine virtual machines now it's very important that the hosts that were down once you shut down the entire overt infrastructure will be up again because um, it might have few issues with the storage if none of the hosts are up and requesting this storage. 
So the best thing to do is, for example, if you have five physical servers that uh, you've shut down, you'll turn on the entire five machines. I know it looks a bit cumbersome and uh, to tell the truth, I told Red Hat developers about this issue. They told me it's something that related to Sunlock. I don't understand so much about Sunlock. But after that, it should boot and let's log in. And you should see your host and domains. Now, as you can see, I have the hosted storage, storage domain, and my NAS free. And within a few minutes, you'll see this NAS free will go down and will go up again. Again, something is something related to uh, Sunlock. Uh, by the way, you can see that in here where you see total space, everything, because it doesn't know what to do with this storage right now. Since I only have, uh, I can show you here, I only have this machine up, not the other one. Uh, that's another important thing that if you have uh, a desktop machine, for example, this is a Ryzen machine which doesn't have IPMI capabilities and it's uh, down right now. Uh, so we won't see any machines that are running in the virtual machines other than the hosted engine, as you can see here. So right now, all you have to do again is just wait a few minutes. Uh, let's see if you see it. It will uh, go down and up within a few minutes, and then you can basically start using it again. So the lesson that I learned about Overt, use a UPS, because if it goes down, and to, in order to wake the entire beast, it takes time. Uh, but you don't have to play with any configuration or anything, just give it time. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm sorry about the audio quality. It looks like I have to replace a microphone. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.